Game two in the case at Pigskin Classic between number 11 Judson and 12's top 12. And number six Johnson turned into an instant classic. Judson rotated quarterbacks between Jaden Castillo and Andres Villagran. A late second quarter, Castillo hooks up with Jonathan Johnson for a 63 yard touchdown pass to make a 20 to 7 Rockets. And they led 27 7 at halftime and seemed to have all the momentum. But Johnson came back behind sophomore quarterback Ty Hawkins, who made his quarterback debut third quarter. Fourth and one, Hawkins takes the direct snap to the left and races 49 yards for the touchdown, providing a huge spark for the Jags offense. He had 151 yards on 16 carries, part of a 14 to three quarter for Johnson. Late fourth now, Hawkins fires a nice pass to Caden Rizzo in the front corner for an 11 yard touchdown, and the Jags are down two with less than 20 seconds to go. Hawkins would score the two point conversion himself and were tied at 43 and heading to overtime. Hawkins passed for 317 yards and five touchdowns. Now Johnson with three and out in the first overtime. Judson did not bring on Adrian Cortez for a 34-yard field goal, and he's good walking it off like Sarah Spivey, and Mark Soto wins his Judson coaching debut, 46-43 in overtime, knocking off his former assistant coach and current Johnson field boss, T.P. Miller. First of all, I'd like to thank God, man, because I can't do anything without God by my side. And second of all, I'd like to thank my family and then my team. And these dudes, they rallied um, through adversity and um, got the win. Coach Soto, yes. I now present you the game ball from the second ever game of the KSAT Pasting Classic. Congratulations on I the victory. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much, KSAT. You did a wonderful job. Texas High, high School football at its finest. You are welcome, Coach. Rockets running back Nathaniel Stanley had a monster game with 218 rushing yards and two touchdowns on 22 carries. Now, the first ever KSAT Pigskin Classic game with the Alamo Dome kicked off at 11.30 this morning with number five Reagan hosting number four Smithson Valley. This was another great game. Reagan down seven to nothing when Giuseppe Sessi blocks the punt and Donnie Lawrence recovers it in the end zone touchdown Rattlers, but the extra point was blocked by the Rangers Freddie DuBose and the Rangers led seven to six. Now, running back Carson Green is healthy and back the Rattlers second quarter he goes 54 yards to the end zone and Reagan led 13 to 7 at halftime fourth quarter same score when Chase Sinelik scores a one yard keeper and the Rangers take the lead 14 13 now Rangers safety David DeHoyos would block a 39 yard field goal attempt late in the fourth and Smithson Valley edges Reagan 14 to 13 David Sears presented Rangers head coach Larry Hill with the championship football and that's when coach choked up a bit mama had a good seat today, Mom. Had a good look. I miss you every day. Coach Hill and his Rangers will host Colleen Harker Heights Friday night, and Reagan will play Round Rock Friday at Comalander Stadium. The final game saw the top two teams in the city, number one, Brennan, and number two, Steele. Into the first quarter, Steele up 7-0 when running back Jaden Bailey breaks off this 83-yard run right up the middle, putting the Knights up 14-0 after one. But the Bears roar to life in the second. Seven seconds before halftime now. Ashton DuBose to Armando Acevedo on the slant. 12-yard touchdown. We're tied at 14 going into half. The game is tied at 28 with just over a minute to go. Brennan on the steal, 38. DuBose takes a snap, drops it off to Jason Love on the screen. And look at him go to work following his blockers he cuts back to the inside and he hits pay dirt the bears missed the extra point and it's 34 28 bears that gives the knights some hope last chance for steel fourth and seven on the bears 11 chad warner gets forced out of the pocket escapes to his right fires to the back of the end zone for royal capel for the touchdown now they need the extra point to take the lead it's good and the knights win a thriller 35 34 another instant classic a great dave high school football at